Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video will demonstrate how to install the Gadget Serial USB driver onto a Windows 7 PC for the Orbit MCR product line. The Gadget Serial USB driver is available on the GE MDS website for download. On a web browser, navigate to the link seen here to the MDS Orbit platform. On the navigation bar on the left hand side, click the Software Firmware link. On the following page, Click on the subdirectory for support items. You will need to download the gserial zip file. The INF file that is inside of the zip file will need to be placed onto the Windows 7 machine for installation. All units from GEMDS are configured with the USB port as a console port for management. To view this, log into the radio and use the command Show Configuration Services Serial. Note that USB 1 is included as a console serial port. To start, plug the USB cable into the PC, followed by plugging the cable into the Orbit. Windows should automatically detect the new hardware. Note that the installation of the driver will fail. The driver must be manually installed. Right-click on the computer icon located on the desktop or navigate to the control panel to the system settings. Open up the device manager. Find Gadget Serial in the list, typically under the Other Devices. Right-click on the Gadget Serial device and choose Update Driver Software. When the installation window comes up, choose the Browse My Computer for Driver Software option. Then click the Browse button to locate the directory for the driver. Once located, click the Next button. At this time, the driver software will be installed. Windows may warn you about the publisher of the driver but install anyway. Once the installation is complete, close the window. Allow the device manager window to refresh, and then notice the COM port assignment for the gadget serial device. Close the device manager window and open up a serial program. Choose the assigned COM port. The baud rate is not necessary to be configured as the USB port auto baud. Click the enter key once on the keyboard and log into the radio. The USB port can now be used just like a serial console management port.